greetings from Lento Island on Hong Kong. Oh my God, we just got off the gondola. It was so cool. I highly recommend doing the Crystal Cabin. Just the views are out of this world. I was a little bit scared when I heard how long the ride was because it's actually 25 minutes. And I was like, um, a lot can go wrong in 25 minutes on a gondola. I don't think I've ever had a ride that long, but it was fine. It was really smooth. There was some kind of like air circulating like a fan, so it didn't get like terribly hot. So definitely recommend. Um, and here we are, check out what's behind me. So we're about to go climb all the way up those stairs to that Buddha and explore it at the top. So <laughs> wish us luck. Um, it's early enough that it's not terribly sweltering, but we're gonna try to get this done. Um, and if it's your first time seeing my face, thank you so much for stopping by this channel. My name is Malika, I live in Hong Kong. I used to live in Lebanon, I used to live in Italy. I've moved around the world a lot. So if you're into that kind of content and wanna learn more about living abroad, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But for now, I'm gonna go work on getting my way up that hill. So before you reach the Big Buddha, you have to make your way through Nongping Village, which is an open-air market full of shops and restaurants, including a mix of local restaurants and also big international chains. It's really great to explore or stop for a bite before or after you make your way around all the sites. Once you get to the base of the Big Buddha, get ready to start climbing because there are 268 steps that you need to climb to reach the top. But the site also features a small road for vehicles if you need access for disabled people. Be sure to visit the small exhibit inside the statue, but no photography or video is allowed. And be sure to leave yourself time to enjoy some peaceful moments at the top. But remember to be respectful of the spiritual site. You will see people in prayer and meditation, so keep quiet. Okay, so we just finished exploring the Big Buddha, and then we came down to the Poland Monastery, which is absolutely amazing. The grounds were beautiful, inside is even better. You're not allowed to take pictures or video in there, so you just have to trust me when I say it is just out of this world. And if you are able to come here and see it for yourself, don't skip the inside. Definitely don't, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and right now we're gonna kinda continue our day up here and look for the wisdom path. So let's go find it. After exploring the Big Buddha and the Poland Monastery, do not miss the Wisdom Path. The Wisdom Path is a road lined with 38 wooden monuments inscribed with the Heart Sutra Prayer and it has beautiful views of the sea. It is a little far, so it takes about 20 minutes to walk there from the other sites and we almost skipped it just because it was so hot and we were so tired, but I'm really glad we did it because it was just so beautiful and so peaceful. So if you're already up there, it's definitely worth stopping for a few minutes to check it out. Okay, so we just are leaving the Wisdom Path beautiful oh my god so beautiful um it is about a 20 minute walk from the monastery up here it's mostly flat it's mostly shady but just keep that in mind because it's pretty far it's like 20 minutes there and then 20 minutes back so if you're like hungry need to use the bathroom any of those things just do before you get on the trail to get out here um but absolutely gorgeous and after all this walking and running and uphill and heat we are starving so we're gonna go head back down to the Nanping village and check out some of the restaurants down there So we are back on the cable car heading back down on the way back we're doing the standard car on the way there we did the crystal plus on the crystal plus you only get like one way on the special cars so just pick your direction carefully like where you want the better views and the better pictures we did it going up so we're on the regular going back down which is still really pretty it's just like the glass is less transparent and I think only parts of it you can see through. You can't see through the floor and there's like more like plastic and things covered. So that's just the main difference. Um, but we're just gonna head back down and then make our way back home into the city. Before heading home, we stopped in CityGate Outlets because it was right there by the MTR. 
This is Hong Kong's leading outlet mall featuring more than 150 world-renowned premium brands. We didn't buy anything because we were just wiped, but it was worth walking through and taking note of what we can find in case we decide to go back later. And if you are a big shopper, be sure to leave time in your schedule and room in your luggage to shop. All right, so we're about to call it quits. Overall, this mall is amazing. Lantau's really cool. It's also one of the biggest islands on Hong Kong, so there's a lot more to do here, like hiking, different sights to see. You really could spend like just a couple days exploring this part of town. So maybe I'll come back and maybe you'll get to follow along with me. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like it, share it with someone who also might enjoy it, and I will catch you guys in the next video.